Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Hollywood Studios and I am so excited 50's Primetime Cafe has a new menu so I wanted to come out and show you guys and then also I hear there's a bunch of new snacks all around the park so I figured it was the perfect day. We'd ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day to be hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The temperature is 92 degrees out, but it feels like it's 100. And look at those blue skies. I'm so excited for the day. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I already mentioned 50's Primetime Cafe and how excited I am to show you guys. I love that restaurant. It's themed after the 50's and even the cast members that take care of you, they kind of treat you like you're back in the 50's and you get drinks from your you know, dad's liquor cabinet and your cousin Sue takes care of you. That's going to be a fun thing. But also all the snacks around the park. I haven't been here in a while and I heard there's a bunch of new snacks and I feel like it's been a while since I just had a nice long Hollywood Studios day. So I'm looking forward to making this video and I'm looking forward to eating some food. Here is 50's Primetime Cafe and like I said it is such an incredible restaurant. You really get uh, transported back to the 50's and they're known for you know mama's favorites like you know meatloaf, fried chicken and pot roast but they have a new menu with some really cool things even a sloppy joe on there. So a uh, little bit later on our reservation isn't for another hour or two. Until then I say we go ride some rides, check the wait times and see how much Genie Plus is. Genie Plus is $24 today and I think I'm gonna buy it because it looks like Slinky Dog Dash is down so that means all of the other rides have extremely long wait times. I'll, I'll show you the wait times but I think we're gonna buy it. It's $24 though and I can get the multi-park one for $27 but I don't think I'm going anywhere else. I kind of want to just spend the whole day here. Here is a look at the wait times. Smuggler's Run is 55 minutes. Rise of the Resistance, 65. Mickey and Minnie's, 50 minutes. Tower of Terror is a 35 minute, but Toy Story Mania is 90 minutes. And Alien Swirling Saucers is 45 minutes. All because, like I said, Slinky Dog Dash is closed. In fact, that's closed and Rock and Roller Coaster. Disney also announced that Jollywood Nights are returning this year and I went last year opening night and I didn't think it was that like good for what you pay for it but I guarantee Disney's probably gonna step it up this year you know what I mean I remember I came but like that's like most opening day things nothing goes as planned and it's usually not as good I always feel that way but over a while you know what I mean I think they actually added in characters made it a little bit more closer to the like areas of where people are at and they actually improved it during the first Jollywood nights so this year I think I think it's gonna be better and I'll be here I hope to I hope to uh, make a video and show you guys to see what I think I have already booked my first lightning lane and we're gonna ride alien swirling saucers in Toy Story Land but first I want to make my way down to the Tower of Terror to try the new Lightning McQueen dessert I also would love to find uh, Max and Goofy because I'm wearing the Goofy Movie Roosevelt shirt. This one's my favorite one because it says Hi Dad Soup and it has my favorite possum Lester. It has a Lester animatronic on it. So if we could find them and do a photo because I think they're here in Hollywood Studios, that would be great. Here it is, the Lightning McQueen Spare Donut. This is a chocolate donut with raspberry jam in it, coconut, and it looks so fancy and you can get it from here at uh, Rosie's. And Rosie's always has a seasonal dessert that they're uh, switching out. So always check, they got some good ones sometimes. Nothing quite like starting a day with a chocolate cars donut. I'm excited. I mean, I like that there's raspberry jam in it. They put it on a nice little fancy plate too. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I don't know if I can pick it up. Oh no, yeah, I could. Wow, you can really see it. I, I wanna break it in half. Wow, look at how chocolate that donut is. Look at that, that's rich. So here we go. Wow. It doesn't taste like a donut, it tastes like a cake to me. And it's cold. Or maybe they're just saying it's a spare donut, like a donut, like a tire. And I'm probably just mistaking it. But I really thought it was a donut. Hmm. 
This is such an interesting dessert. So the name of it is the Lightning McQueen Spare Donut. And I, when I read it, I thought it was a donut, but it's actually like a spare donut, like a tire. It's a cake-shaped spare donut. And I think that's so awesome. And I like it. It's very rich and it's a good cake. But just the shock, I was like, oh, wow. All right, enough of the donut cake business. I want to go ride Alien Swirling Saucers only because I was thinking about how much I love Tokyo Disneyland and they have the same ride there, but it's a Baymax and it has a cult following. People just sit there and wait all day long just to dance and uh, listen to the music. And it's the same ride just without the different music and different characters. So I wanted to ride it today and uh, that's our first Lightning Lane and then we can book something else. I'll tell you what, Toy Story Land is so hot because there's no shade over here, but I love it. The theming is so nice. Look, you can see Slinky Dog going on in the background there. There's a snake in my boot. There's a snake in my boot. I'm welcoming all you new toys to Andy's backyard. That kind of scared me, but I loved it. I love Toy Story Land. It's nice to see Slinky Dog Dash back up and running. And I'm going to try to get a lightning lane for that one. But you have to keep on going in and out of the app. Wait, hang on. That is, honestly, I know I always talk about Slinky Dog Dash only because I love it this much. <sighs> Toy Story Mania is a 40 minute wait. I wish I can get some of these lightning lanes, but they're just not popping up for me. But like I said, I'm here for Alien Swirling Saucer. I love that ride. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling the heat already. I'm bald. Ooh. And here it is, Alien Swirling Saucer. Look at Buzz Lightyear up there. He's standing so proud. Kinda wish it was Mrs. Nesbitt though. That would be funnier. I could see it. Like, I'm not even kidding when I tell you that the Baymax ride in Tokyo Disneyland has a cult following. They just line up outside the ride. They don't even ride the ride. They just jam out because the music, the soundtrack is so like, it, I love it. It makes you happy. And like people just hang out there all day. That's what they do on the weekend. They go hang out at Baymax. And I wish I could maybe start that for here. As I'm waiting for my ride to start, I'm in line trying to move my Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Lightning Lane up. I got it for 4.30, but I keep on trying to see if I can get it to change. And if you just go in and keep on doing this, it'll change. See, it just changed from 7.25 to 7.20, and sometimes you can find it. Hopefully, if not, after dinner. This alien is going to be taking me on a ride through the galaxy. It's like driving Mr. Morrow. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Oh, boy. It connects into those little holes right here. <laughs> Yo, these turns are wild. That ride just makes me smile. I love it. And if you guys want to see what I'm talking about with Baymax ride, just go watch my Tokyo Disneyland uh, videos. I got to ride it there and it was just like that atmosphere. But I think this is just as good as a ride. I just need people to come with me. We'll all stand a line like the, the outside and we'll chant people on. We'll just dedicate like an hour to it. I think it'll be fun. We're going to make our way through Galaxy's Edge now. I think Maxi actually meets on the outside, so I'm hoping to catch him. And then over to 50's Prime Time. I still haven't gotten a uh, earlier lightning lane for uh, Mickey and Minnie's Run Right Railway, so we might have to do it after, after we have dinner. I think this is the line for Max. I hope maybe. Oh, it's Max and Goof together. Wow. I feel like I gotta get this picture. 
I am so excited to be meeting both of them. This shirt has everything, like I said, I love about the movie. High Dad Soup there, the perfect cast, the road map, Lester, all of it. Like even the, the Bigfoot too, dancing. Look at down here, the Bigfoot dancing right there. This is so cool and they're just right over there. Looks like they're stepping off and they're coming back. <laughs> Max and Goof have to step off, but they come back uh, just in a couple of minutes. And I kind of wish I did this first thing when I got here because now I'm so sweaty. I feel so sweaty. Sweaty for Max and Goofy. <laughs> oh, here they come. They're coming back now. Goofy and Max is bringing someone with them. <sighs> Hey, Goofy. I, I, I know. I had to come show you guys this shirt. I'm so excited. You're everywhere. Yeah, and it's even High Dad Soup. Oh, Hi, Hi Dad Soup. Foot. Lester. Oh. Who's your favorite possum? You know, they even have the perfect cast and everything. Yeah, I, I was like, I gotta come, uh, you know. Oh, well, thank you guys. I love the movie, I'm a big fan. And uh, I'm glad we get to take a photo. Oh, look, Goofy's looking at the back. It's everywhere, I right? I love it. The perfect cast. <laughs> they even have the oh, bobblehead. The pizza, oh the, God, pizza the breakfast. That's so cute. Yeah, it's too cool. I love that. Can we take a selfie? Oh my gosh, of course. Yeah. Go I'll go uh, maybe like this. I'll go further away. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Thank you. I love the fact that Max and Goofy love my shirt. And everyone else loved it too. And it was great to see them. I waited about 20 minutes though because they're popular. I mean, they're, I mean, I, I see them both of them together. I love that. But now I think it's time we head to 50's Primetime Cafe. Get some food. Cool off a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe uh, ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Slinky Dog Dash afterwards? Hopefully, we'll try. Now it's time for us to check in at 50's Prime Time. I love this sign too. And if you guys didn't know, they have a little bar that's attached to the restaurant called the Tune In Lounge that's pretty fancy. And uh, yeah, can't wait to go in and get something to eat. We have our lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway right after 50s. And then I'm going to see, like I said, if we can try to get on Slinky Dog Dash. I keep on looking. I want to make something out of that $24. I mean, I would pay I would pay $24 uh, just to skip the line for Slinky Dog Dash. I think they need to change those too. Make the Slinky Dog Dash a payable, like, one-time purchase. And then include Rise of the Resistance in, uh, into the uh, Genie Plus. That's just my thoughts, though. <laughs> Here is a quick look at the menus at 50's Prime Time. The one thing I want to point out quickly is the new desserts. Of course, they have Dad's favorite chocolate peanut butter layered cake, but now they have key lime pie, hummingbird bun cake, grasshopper bar, and a traditional warm apple crisp. And then uh, a lot of the regular like uh, favorites are still on the menu. Of course, you have like the onion rings, and you've now got a cornbread skillet. That's something new. Uh, roasted tomato soup of course uh, sampling of mom's favorite recipes that one's always popular but they have a 50s primetime uh, blue plate special to sear pork chop with uh, mashed potatoes and onion gravy look at that like I said they got a lot and then on the kids menu I think they have sloppy joe like a sloppy joe uh, like my mom would make so I'm gonna see if I can get it like I mentioned before, they have the tune-in lounge right on the side here, and everything's 50s themed, and it's so cool. I love it. Get a nice drink in Dad's liquor cabinet. Everything, like the furniture, look at it over here. I like the little Disney TV. Honestly, I can see some of this stuff in my Aunt Shirley's house. <laughs> Definitely the gelatin molds. You don't need a reservation to come to the tune-in lounge. And like I said, it's shared with the restaurant over here. And it's actually really nice. I like just hanging out in here. And everything, they, look, they even have little hidden Mickeys right here. Fancy. Look at the kitchen in here. That is so cool. And it even has the refrigerator too. And the first family of the day gets their photo put on the fridge. Look at that. that I want to be the first family of the day one day. <laughs> It was common in the 50s to watch TV during dinner, so most of the tables have a little TV that play 50s shows on it, and I think that's something like, you know, it's wholesome. 
the tables in the restaurant are set up like this and you have a little TV there, a rooster on the wall, and then you have other ones. Oh, look at a little penguin like cookie jar. But because I'm not like a party of four, I'm just a party of one, I have this one over here. But I still have the TVs, they're just up in the corner there. You got one on this side and this side. They're also known for their peanut butter and jelly milkshake. So I think I'm gonna get the peanut butter and jelly milkshake. I'm gonna get the cornbread skillet. I'm gonna get the sloppy joe and the pork chop with the mashed potatoes. It's hard for me to pass up a sampling of mom's favorites, but I gotta try the new stuff. Like I mentioned before, they treat you like a uh, family here. And it's kind of cool that they don't have to roll silverware. In fact, when you sit down, they tell you to set your own table. But like working like at, like in the restaurants, how awesome would it be to work in a restaurant that doesn't roll silverware? That's kind of nice. So I'm going to do my part. And I'll eat my veggies, too. <laughs> I'm setting the table. Oh, thank you. Sprite. Oh, you got the honey butter cup bread already. Oh, there we go. Thank you. First things first, we got the honey butter cornbread. This is something new, and look at that cornbread. I like the crust on top. It's not like crusty, but like, you know what I mean? I wanna cut into it and actually make little pizza slices. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna dump the honey butter right on there and just kinda melt it all in. Oh, shake it off. There we go. Look at how quick that honey butter actually melts. Wow. Cheers to honey butter cornbread. <laughs> that honey actually adds it really nice. That was the way to do it. Perfect timing, yeah. Yeah. All right, I've got the pork chop and the uh, Coffee Joe working for you, all right, Nathan? Thank you, man. Absolutely, thank you. He's got my pork chop and a Sloppy Joe working for me. I love that. <laughs> I order stuff so I can usually show you guys what it looks like if you ever plan on coming to the restaurant. And I gotta save room because I wanna get the desserts because a lot of those are new. I wanna get the honey bunk cake. I don't know, I can't order all of them. That's a lot of desserts, but maybe one or two. I give this honey butter cornbread a eight out of 10. I give it a eight out of 10. It's really good. And the longer you let it soak, the more it actually gets much more flavorful as you get down, but it still holds to that cornbread texture, which is kind of shocking. I don't, I don't got time for mushy cornbread. Enough of the cornbread business. Look at this, the main event has arrived. Look at that pork chop, and it comes with an onion gravy, and the mashed potatoes have bacon and cabbage in it. And then look at this, an old fashioned sloppy joe, a mamwich. Yo, my mom used to make these all the time, and it's on the kids' menu. You can get it if you want, but I just think it's so cool, and I was excited. I want to try it. You guys had to know I was going Sloppy Joe first. Look at that. In case you guys don't, in case you don't know what a Sloppy Joe is, it's just like ground beef with manwich in it or ketchup, peppers. There's all different ways to make it, and I loved it, so I had to get it. Hence the reason they call it Sloppy Joe. Uh, they usually fall all over the place and it's hard to eat, but that's okay because then you just have Sloppy Joe french fries afterwards. <laughs> Enough of the Sloppy Joe. I love it though. And I'm probably going to eat all of it. I'm just going to take off the bottom uh, like half. I used to just make extra sandwiches with the Sloppy Joe meat that fell out. But you know what I mean? But, like if you have a plate full, you just go back and get like another bun and you can use the leftover to make a sandwich. But now I want to get to this pork chop. Look at the charness on there. I love it. I'm going to get a bit of a nice little cut, grab some of them potatoes. There we go. Oh, and I need some of this gravy. The perfect bite. Honestly, you talk about a whirlwind of flavors. The bacon, the cabbage, the mashed potatoes, the onion gravy, the pork, the charness, the seasonings. Look at that. This is delicious. This is like such an amazing meal. I am shocked at how good this pork chop is, actually. Like, I love coming here and getting the, the, the chicken and the meatloaf, but this is so good that I would want to get it again. But it's only the blue, the blue plate special. It might be something different next time. But maybe try it when you can. I like it though. It's not every day I think I'm going to eat a Sloppy Joe and a pork chop together, but I'm doing it today. <laughs> I don't think I'm joining the Clean Plate Club today. <laughs> I think I'm kicked. 
the, the pork chop was fantastic, though. I absolutely loved it, and the, the sloppy joe. And now it's time to dive into the dessert. <laughs> I wanted to get both of the new desserts to show you, but I wasn't expecting the key lime pie to be like a whole pie. Usually it's like a slice, but look how like flaky that crust is. And a little raspberry drizzle there. And then this is the hummingbird cake. Looks like a bunk cake. What's oh, a hummingbird bunk cake? Hummingbird bunk cake. I think that, that sounds funny, but I'm gonna try them. And plus I got a little bag to take most of it home with me if I don't finish it all. I think we should do the hummingbird cake first, and I'm just gonna break it right down the middle. Look at that. Cream cheese uh, icing, probably, with some pineapple chutney. Pineapple chutney. This is probably gonna be like that hummingbird cake at uh, homecoming, maybe, but a little bunt version. A little bunt version. This has a lot of flavor to it, and it's really good when you get the pineapple in there. I like it a lot, but I'm more, I'm, I'm kind of excited for the key lime pie. I think we should just break down into the key lime pie. Look at that. Yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> Look at that, the raspberry sauce in the center. Oh boy. The key lime pie is where it's at, I can tell you that. A nice tartness, but overly sweet. I like the little raspberry sauce. Getting all fancy, but I like it. I think I like the key lime pie more than the hummingbird cake. Only because I don't like the cream cheese icing like that. But I like the key lime pie like this. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the rest of my desserts home with me. But the key lime pie, fantastic. But I got something in mind for this later on. A little late night sweet treat. Well, that was delicious. I love going to 50s Prime Time. All of the cast members that work there are super awesome and they love what they do. And it's just so fun. The atmosphere, just hanging out, and the food was great. The key lime pie I liked the most, and the blue plate special was so good. I think for the longest time it was like shrimp and grits. Finally, a nice little change up, and the cornbread was exceptional exceptional and now that we've had all that food and i've got desserts to take home with me i think we're gonna head out to the uh, mickey and minnie's runaway railway try to get that from here to there without it melting i don't know how that's gonna work i don't think anything's meltable i mean i got a little bit of the key lime pie in there but the hummingbird cake is just a cake just a cake Today has been a fun day so far. I'm having a great time hanging out at Hollywood Studios. Now we're gonna go ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Things are great. Looks like it's a 65 minute wait, so I'm happy we got the lightning lane. It doesn't look busy on the outside, but there's a lot of switchbacks in there. Potato land, potato land, potato land. <laughs> Hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you there. Ooh, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? Uh, sure, Goofy. I guess that sounds like fun, right? Thanks. Be yeah. back in a jiffy to fix you all up. All right, well, friends, it says this way to the train, so I guess you should go straight ahead. Wow. <laughs> Here comes our train. Welcome aboard, folks! We're 
my guided tour. Hope you had a relaxing ride around the park. And thanks for sticking with me. We got stuck in this room. Thank you. Please remain seated and we'll get you going again real soon. Why we're stuck here, this is my favorite hidden Mickey because it spells out Mickey. M-I-C-K-E-Y. Look at that, isn't that fancy? Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was fun like always. Now I'm a little cooled off, but I feel like it's hotter out. I feel the sun like piping down on me. I'm like, ah, it's, it's really hitting me. But I want to stay. Kind of want to hang out. I want to maybe ride another ride or see a show. Maybe meet a character, grab a popcorn. Any of those are good. I'm so happy we rode when we rode. Look at this. Because we were on the ride, we got stopped and we were backed up for a while. The line is like spilling out. Queuing up the old days. Look at that. We're going to have to get someone out here with a sign soon. I was hoping to stick around and uh, kind of bear with the weather, but I think it's getting too hot for me, and uh, I think I'm going to have to throw in the towel. I, th I lasted a lot longer than I did. It is super hot out today, and I came at the worst time. I always come in the afternoon. Like, I get here around, like, 11, 12, and I uh, usually end up leaving around 5 p.m. It's, like, the hottest time in Florida. But I want to go home, see Gracie. I feel like we got a lot done today. And plus, I got a pork chop and a sloppy joe in my stomach. So it's not the best in a uh, hot theme park. So I think we're going to call it a day here and uh, head home. Honestly, I've enjoyed this all morning. And it's been like this all day. Just really hot. But I love just how everything looks. Especially here at, you know, uh, Hollywood Studios, because it's like the most colorful park. Like with the pink and the colors, all the lights, whenever they shine bright on them, it's just everything looks a lot better on a nice sunny day here at Hollywood. Gracie, there she is. Ooh, there's the pretty princess. What are you doing? You want to come for a walk? Come on, let's go. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, there she is. You know, until this very moment, I never realized that if anyone came to my house and they first walked in, they probably would be wondering why there's a bunch of heads in the corner over here. And I was like, I was shooting in the video of Gracie coming down the steps and I looked in the corner and it kind of just, I was like, wait a second, I got two heads over there. Like, look at this corner. I mean, I'm proud of it because I love the unique variety of treasures I have on this shelf. This is, these two are head molds of animatronics from Epcot. This is the sleeping monk on Spaceship Earth. And this is from World of Motion. You can actually see them in this postcard right here. I have like the little picture here. Isn't that insane? I love it, but I bet people that walk in, they're probably like, why does Nate have these things here? And then I've got Hercules plates, uh, a Mickey Mouse statue, and a piece of the Berlin Wall. All as soon as you walk in my house. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun. I wish I stayed longer, but it was getting hot out there. I was feeling the heat, as they say. And uh, I still enjoyed my time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I got to ride uh, Alien Swirling Saucers, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Got to have dinner over at 50's Prime Time. That's a nice cozy day at Hollywood Studios. And also, oh, I wanted to bring this up. I'm planning on doing kind of like a Q&A video where you guys ask me questions and I answer, you know, some of the questions you guys have been wondering about. And I know that I've done a video in the past about this, uh, but I wanted to do one where, you know, people ask me questions and I wanted to do it like, you know, for people that maybe, you know, or, you know, trying to be creators or, you know, going into YouTube. I'd love to, you know, answer questions about that. Living in Florida, you know, going to Disney, you know, some of the questions that a lot of people ask. And uh, if you guys want to leave a question in the comment section, I'm going to pick a couple of them. And uh, I don't know, just like 
answer some questions. I haven't done one of them in like such a long time. And, uh, you know, I just thought about it as, you know, time to do one. Only because, you know, when you're, you know, doing these videos on YouTube, you kind of get like tunnel vision and you just go and so much happens. And like, sometimes I wish I could tell you everything. Like, I, I'm like it's so funny, but sometimes I'm like, wow, man, I wish I could just capture it all, but I don't, I can't capture it all. You know what I mean? And, uh, it, it'd be cool to just like, you know, hang out and chit chat. So if you've got any good questions, leave them in the comment section. If you see a question that you're already going to ask, just like that one, or, you know, just notify, you know, give it a reply or something so that more people, or when I look at them, I see that a lot of people want to know things. And uh, yeah, just in all good fun, just to, you know, just be lighthearted about it and happy and positive. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.